Hey book friends, welcome to a kind of spontaneous video that I'm making for you guys today because I decided I wanted to participate in another readathon for the month of March. Now I just recently put out my March reset video where I talked about my potential TBI, I talked about a readathon I was interested in, and then I remembered, remembered the backlist readathon hosted by Jackie and I love her channel, I love both of her channels, I'll link them both below, but I just I felt like participating, so I'm tossing together a quick TBR to share with you today. So stay tuned and I'll get into all the details as well as the books I might be reading for this readathon. So hi, my name is Angie. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back, all the things. And so, like I said, I am putting together a quick TBR for the backlist readathon. So, a little details about the readathon. It is a week-long readathon. It runs from the 8th to the 15th of March. That's a Friday to a Friday, and its focus is on backlist books. And now, of course, this is just for fun. And so technically speaking, I think a backlist book is any book that was not published this year of 2024. So that could be a 2023 book or something older. Honestly, you can challenge yourself with this or you could just be like me and just toss some books on a TBR of books that I'm interested in. So obviously, well, maybe not obviously to you if you are new to the channel, hi. I don't read a ton of books a month. I'm more of a like four to six book reader and I already have a number of things going on this month. So I'm gonna try and squeak some of those books onto this TBR. But the other reason I wanted to even make a backlist TBR was to kind of have some additional options because sometimes I get midway through the month and I don't want to read anything on my TBR. So I have some new options. Let's talk about the co-hosts. I said it was Jackie from Jacqueline's channel. I'll link her down below. The other host is Beth something. I think she's on Instagram. I'll link her down below. I was just checking her out. I just really love the aesthetic of a lot of things she has going on over there. So I'll link them both. Let's just get into the prompts because they have five prompts plus a bonus prompt. For a week long readathon, obviously I'm not gonna read all of those books. So I like to look at this as my potentials. Let me look at my list. So the first prompt is a backlist hyped on book talk or social media. All right, this one, I'm not on book talk. I try not to be on too many scrolling type platforms, but I don't need to be on book talk to know that Ruthless Vows is probably trending on there and it's probably very popular. It's by Rebecca Ross. It's the second book in the, I can never quite remember the name of this series, but the first one being Divine Rivals, which I read recently in January and I really enjoyed it. It's a young adult historical fantasy book that has to do with kind of this war of the gods and then there's two main characters who are journalists that are competing at this newspaper for kind of the same position and then they get kind of roped into the war in different ways and I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the like stakes. I enjoyed the historical aspect of like the war. Even though I didn't quite understand the fantastical elements of the war, I have heard that that actually gets a little bit more explained in this one which I'm really excited for. I did love our two main characters, Iris and Roman. So this is the first book on my potential TBR pile. And then the next prompt. The next prompt is a backlist book with an even number of pages. Okay, and so this is one of the books I need to read this month and so I put it on here in case I want to read it mid-month. I'm reading it for my reading challenge which I host on Discord and every month we have a prompt. This month of March it was an animal on the cover but I've been wanting to move on in the Thursday Murder Club series for a while. This is the second one and it's called The Man Who Died Twice and it is surrounding these characters at this retirement village called Cooper's Chase and they are kind of amateur detectives. And after the first book, I'm really curious what's gonna happen here. It sounds like, as opposed to the first book where there was like a murder there, it sounds like there's this man who is on the run from the police because he is accused of stealing diamonds or something like that and then something happens at the retirement place. And I really enjoyed these characters. I'm not sure if it's just because they're older characters or what. Some people would call this kind of cozy mystery. Maybe you could call it that. I don't really like the term cozy mystery, but I really like these books. So that is another one on my TBR. So the next prompt is a backlist book that's a Goodreads nominee or winner. Okay, I had a number of books for this and I feel like I want two options because I picked these both up at the end of last year after all the Goodreads content here on YouTube, which I just, I really enjoy watching. I would never have the ability to make all those awesome videos that people make at the end of the year. But I saw these two books talked about a lot at the end of the year last year. 
and I picked them up because I was really, really curious. They're both kind of big books, which might not work as well for a readathon, but I'm interested in both of these. So the first one being the new Cassandra Clare, which is her first adult book, and it's called Sword Catcher. I'm curious about it. I think it'll be really fun. It has something to do with like a prince of a land and then this man who's almost like his body double or his, not just like bodyguard, but like he looks like him and he can replace him and he's his sword catcher, if I understand it right. And I believe this is supposed to be somewhat of a first book in a series. So that one sounds good. This one too is the first book in a series and it's by Mark Lawrence and I haven't read anything by this author. I'm curious about it, but this is the book that wouldn't burn. Now, this sounded really interesting to me because it has to do with a library, uh, which I think you can kind of tell by the cover. It sounds like there's a, it's about these two people, a boy and a girl. The boy has been stuck at this library, it sounds like, and then the girl has some other things, but for some reason they've kind of been both sucked into the world of the library, and I think they're trying to save it, but it's been a while since I've heard anybody talk about this, so I do want to read it, though. So those two are for more of a Goodreads nominee or winner. Neither of them won, but they were both nominated. All right, fourth prompt for the readathon is a backlist book that's a five-star prediction. This is a no-brainer for me. So I just love Agatha Christie. And so I haven't read this one, you guys. I haven't read The Murder on the Orient Express. I feel like it's one of her more popular books. It's a Perot novel, so he's the main detective of this book. And I've read a number of Perot books. I liked The Death on the Nile, but honestly, my absolute favorite, I reread this January, which was And Then There Were None. It's just a favorite of mine. And so this, I feel like, has similar tropes. It has the, like, isolated setting, or maybe I would be better to say, like, closed door mystery. Like, there's only so many people who could be suspects because there's a murder that happens on a train. And then I would love to watch the movies. I feel like there's a couple. There's like a Johnny Depp one, I think. But anyway, I want to read this one. This is also on my other TBR. So this one I will definitely be reading. It's just a matter of if I want to read it for this readathon or not. All right. Okay, so the last official prompt before the bonus prompt is the highest rated backlist book on your TBR. So I went to Goodreads and the thing about Goodreads and me is I'm not very good at organizing myself on there. So I don't have really any of my owned books on there. I could, I just, I never do. But yet I do have a lot of books on my want to read shelf on Goodreads and a few things popped up as to be like highest rated that I really am still interested in reading. And they were these two books. And so this one was higher. It's The Only Plane in the Sky, An Oral History of 9-11. I really want to read this, you guys. I always say I want to read it in September and then September happens and I don't read it and I'm just curious if I should just give that up and read it in March or if I should just give it one more year and try for September. I'm leaning towards that because I really do want to read this but I also really do want to read this and this one is Sweep, the story of a girl and her monster which is a middle grade book and it is middle grade March. I do not read middle grade other than read alouds to my kids and those ones I love. It's just a totally different feel to read it out loud with my kids and have them enjoy it versus me reading middle grade myself. I'm just not as drawn to it. But this one sounds really fun. It's kind of got a fantastical element of this girl who lived in Victorian London or something like that and she was a chimney sweep. So she comes from a poor family or she's orphaned, she's orphaned and alone and she has to sweep out chimneys to make ends meet basically but then one time she gets stuck and then there is a monster in the chimney that keeps her company or something like that and I've just heard it's really kind of heartwarming heartbreaking I'm not quite sure but this is a good option and this is also a good option for a readathon because middle grade is always a faster read right so this is the one I'm officially gonna put on I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait for the 9-11 book till September so all right those are kind of the official books, but there's a bonus prompt of a book you've borrowed multiple times and still haven't read. All right, so there is a book. So this book I have out from the library currently. I've had it out a number of times. It's Atomic Anna by Rachel Berenbaum, which I have another book by her on my shelves and I haven't read it. This is a historical fiction, but it also kind of has historical fantasy associated with it because it's a time travel book that has to do with women scientists and Sharon Noble which I think Chernobyl is such a fascinating event in history. And then to take kind of 
some women scientists around the event and involved time travel. Just sounds really interesting to me. I have it out right now because I was gonna read it for a book club I like to join in on, but I didn't get it done, didn't get it done in time. So I'm gonna see if I can just read it in March. As long as it doesn't become due back to the library anytime soon, I will try to read it because that sounds really good to me. That sounds really interesting and engaging. So I'm putting that on my list as well. So yes, obviously, this is too big of a stack. I like that I'm just gonna add it to my little TBR shelf down here because down here, oh, I can't, you can't see it. Never mind. Down here on my shelf, I keep the books I'm planning for a month, but sometimes I just don't want to read them, even if I've picked them myself. So I'm adding a few extras to the pile because of this readathon, and I'm gonna try and prioritize these during that week. So I hope you join. Let me know down below if you're thinking of joining this readathon. It's one of the simplest readathons to participate in, which is why I'm kind of last minute throwing together my TBR. I love it because it's not genre specific and really it's anything but new releases. So it's very open as to what you can read. And that's just fun. That's fun for me. And there's some sprints involved. I'll put all the details down below. So anyway, I hope you are all doing well. Hope you're enjoying your March and please, Join me for this readathon, even if I read one book that week. I'm still planning on participating. And so I hope you are well. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to. And I'll see you guys in the next book video. All right, guys, take care.